What's up guys, it's R. Lee, Handmade Horror. I'm finally back with my newest custom figure. It's behind the mask, the Rise of Leslie Vernon, 12 inch. There he is. Check him out. And that's not his stand yet, by the way. It's not finished. I got a sticker to put on it. Um, I did this figure on a, uh, a some kind of soldier figure. There's a 12 inch scale and it's got all the articulation like a sideshow figure. And, um, I used uh, Jason 2 Sideshow for these coveralls and the stand, of course, you can see there. But I have a, I'm getting a sticker to put on this with the logo, so it's that'll be, that'll look good when it gets done. And, uh, this shirt here, um, I got the thermal shirt from my, my boy Once Customs. Uh, good looking out one, by the way. Um, you can see I got him all tattered up and got holes all in it. Um, got the coveralls tattered as well I'm just dirty looking I don't know you can tell right there it's just dirty looking you can see him holding his mask um, ripped up at the bottom I got the thermal underneath and he is barefooted too I didn't realize that but my girl pointed out while I was watching it and uh, yeah he's barefooted when he's decked out in his clothing um, the face you can see it's the makeup when he's wearing the mask uh, I did re-sculpt the face um, try to get in there where you can see it. I did re-sculpt the face. It was like an old man, <laughs> the figure originally. So I had to sculpt the cheeks and then the forehead, the eyebrows, the little patch underneath his lip right there. Uh, all the hair. I had to take all the hair off and re-sculpt all of it. Um, you can see his little hand scythe here. Uh, I made this to This is real metal real metal hand scythe, little metal bar uh, the handle is plastic but everything else is metal it's not really sharp but you know it looks really cool um, I'm gonna go ahead and stick his mask on him so you can see what he looks like there alright there he is with his mask on guys check that out full glory look at that let me give you a little 360 of him here you could see and you could tell like how his hair looked in the movie is how I tried to get that little curl on the back of his neck see how his hair is all that hair has been sculpted by me and painted I got him some rips and stuff in the clothing just little stills from the movie trying to find all the little rips and holes you can see you know it's kind of hiked up at the bottom a little bit like it was in the movie there's this angle on him. Check that out. So yeah, there he is, man. And I went ahead and threw this um, pitchfork in there because he does use it in a part of the movie. Um, but yeah, I've been working on this guy for a while, man. I had him worked up for the most part and uh, took a little longer on the mask than I had anticipated. Um, yeah, and you can see if I put some of this light out, then the eyes darken out pretty good. You can see right there, that's about how he looks. I just got this light up here so you can see really well. I try to, my videos have been coming out blurry, but I'm trying to, trying to let you see every detail on him. I, don't want you, I wanted you to see the hands up close. Because I did a good job, I think, of dirtying the hands and making them bloody and just nasty looking. Check that out. It's just dirty, you know, all the shirt's really dirty and just the holes or, you know, I got this all shredded up. And I did take them, the pegs on these are really long, if you know this figure. <laughs> so I took them and shortened them down and, and just made them look a little more realistic, you know. But yeah, there he is, Leslie Mancuso. Just get this thing back in his hand here. There we go. Yeah, like I say, he's got all the articulation that you would want. You can put him in all kinds of poses, and he looks cool in most, you know, most any pose you put him in. He looks really cool. Check that one out, even. Yeah, check that out. And I wanted to give you guys a quick look at this thing. It says Pennywise the Clown, and I've had a few people asking about it. And, I, you know, I've had these things done for a while, and there's really no excuse. I haven't got a video up yet. I've just been really busy. But, um... Check them two bad boys out. Leslie Vernon, 
Pennywise the Dancing Clown. Of course, this is the scene where he got burnt. I'm going to do a full review on this, though. Um, next, that'll be my next video, is the Pennywise. So, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys this, man. Shout out to all my boys. Uh, Once Customs, Beta 2G, everybody, all my subscribers, friends, everybody. Horror figure fan. Um, just everybody. And um, hopefully I can keep these videos coming. And uh, it won't leave you waiting so long for the next one. Apologize for that once again. But uh, this guy is... Uh, if anybody wants this, man, hit me up. Hit me up with an offer. I mean, he's done all except the stand right here. This is all I need is the sticker for the stand. And he'd be ready to go. And uh, I can get that... I'll be, I can get that anytime. I got a place right here in town that prints up stuff. And I'm going to get a really nice one done up. I think I'm going to get the logo... <clears throat> Excuse me, I think I'm going to get the logo with the, the half face, half mask look. And I think that would look really cool on that stand, the circle stand like that. But yeah, hit me up, PM me or whatever if uh, anybody's interested in this thing. If not, I'm, I may stick him up on eBay, you know, I've been thinking about that. Just to see what happens, you know, if I don't get anything off of here, but, you know. There, and pity wise, I'll show you it one more time. Show you Leslie Varner one more time. Give him another 360 real quick. There we go, guys. Check him out. This is one of the better figures I've done, in my opinion, because it's all been done with a uh, little higher quality uh, materials and paints and epoxy and all that. So it was done upright. So, uh, yeah, guys, tell me what you think. Hit me up. Comment. Let me know. Later.